Hey everyone, my name is Marshall Mind, bringing you a brand new video. And wow, that's uh, that's really all I can say about that fight between Ronda and Holly Holm. Wow. I mean, to be honest, I'm not exactly shocked that Holly won, but what's surprising is in the way she did it. Uh, before that fight, almost everyone counted her out. A vast majority of people simply did not believe that she had what it took to even last a single round against Ronda Rousey. I was not one of those people. In fact, I believed with every bone in me that she would beat Ronda. I, I just didn't think it'd be by brutal head kick knockout. But let's talk about the fight for a second. Um, Ronda Rousey, regardless of how much she's praised and celebrated, does not have a complicated or mysterious style of fighting. She's not a puzzle, okay? The way to count her style has already been figured out years and years and years ago. And it was just a matter of one fighter going in there, staying focused, and doing what it takes to defeat that style. When the fight started, she did exactly what you'd expect her to do. She kept her head really high, dead in the center, just moved forward looking to bull rush Holly to the cage, clinch up with her, take her down and lock in the submission. This was her game. This was all she could do. And of course, Holly, being the superior striker, kept her distance, didn't move straight back, circled away from the cage and every single chance she got she landed a clean left hand which Rhonda did not even attempt to block or evade it was crazy at some point in the fight Rhonda was able to grab a hold of holly you know pushed her against the cage and started working for the takedown but that's where you really see holly show a great understanding of that position and eventually escape the cage and returned to outstriking the snout out of Rhonda. At one point as well, uh, Rhonda was able to get her down very briefly and attempted a submission, which of course Holly was extremely prepared for and escaped it. The whole entire fight, the whole entire first round to begin with was a clinic, okay? Rhonda was tired, busted up, she was frustrated, desperate, and after the first round, it became clear to everyone just how bad her striking was. Now, at this point, it, it really was just a matter of time, to be honest. It really was just a matter of time. Ronda was either going to get finished or lose a decision. No question about it. Um, in Ronda's corner, instead of giving her clear advice like, Yo, Ronda, relax. Take your time. This is only the second round. Keep your hands up, okay? Don't chase Holly. Cut her off. Move your head. Slowly work your way in. And when you do it, use your jab. She wasn't told any of that. She was just told, hey, you're doing a great job. Congre you're doing an amazing job. Keep doing what you're doing. I don't know which fight they were watching, but the first round was a clinic. She wasn't doing great at all. And the same exact thing happened in the second round. She came out exactly the same way, aggressive, barely keeping her hands up, not moving her head at all, just walking into punch after punch after punch. And eventually, Holly found a clear opening, landed a nasty left roundhouse kick to the head and knocked her out clean. She was out before she even hit the floor. It was a devastating knockout and Holly got crowned the new women's bantamweight champion of the world. She simply went in there, did exactly what she needed to do, stayed patient, stayed focused, and completely destroyed Ronda Rousey. It wasn't even a competitive fight at all. And that's what happens when a fighter does not evolve. That's what happens when they don't fix the holes in their game. That's what happens when they have the worst striking coach in the history of striking as their coach. Ronda's coach Edmund is simply a disgrace. He has absolutely no idea what he's talking about. And if these fighters under him are intelligent, they will bounce right now. And Ronda is not the only proof that he sucks as a coach. I mean, look at Travis Brown for God's sake. Look at Jake Ellenberger. These guys arguably got worse when they started training with him. Because of him, Ronda Rousey, who is without a shred of a doubt an explosive athlete, doesn't even know how to move her head. 
doesn't even know how to throw a solid jab. It's embarrassing and very unfortunate at the same time. But you know what else is unfortunate? <laughs> Before the fight happened, Ronda Rousey was the greatest thing since the Michael Jackson moonwalk. And after the fight, now everyone thought she was going to lose. Well, we thought she was going to lose all along. Eh, not surprised at all. Even the people that believed Holly had no chance are now singing her praises. MMA fans, man, you guys, you guys have no loyalty, man. You have no loyalty at all, and it's just, it's sad. The second your fighter hits the ground, you just turn your back on them, hide, and never say a word again. Before the fight, you were vocal as hell. <laughs> you were real vocal, and now afterwards, you can hear a pin drop in a room full of Rousey fans. That's what happens when you buy into the hype without taking the time to analyze the fighter yourself. Yourself, okay? Not listening to what Dana is saying or what Joe Rogan is telling you. If you honestly sat down and compared Ronda's skill to that of other champions in the UFC, you will undoubtedly come to the realization that she is a mediocre fighter compared to the rest even compared to uh, Joanna Jacek. She has no business being compared to the likes of John Jones, TJ Dillashaw, Cain Velasquez, Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather. She is simply inferior when it comes to mixed martial arts skills. I'm sorry. But a lot of people didn't know that though. A lot of people actually thought she was on the same level as the male bantamweights and that's why this loss is so shocking to everyone. It wasn't expected, you know, but make no mistake, this loss is great for MMA. It is. No more celebration of mediocrity. No more pointless Ronda Rousey articles. Oh, Ronda Rousey took a massive dump today, let's write about it. No more of that. It's done. Now people can focus on elite level fighters in the UFC. That's why I love this loss personally. Everything goes back to the way it's supposed to be now. Now, if Ronda Rousey decides to come back and try to get a belt back, good for her. But personally, I don't think she has what it takes to beat Holly. This is not about game plan, this is about ability. And she won't have enough time to improve her striking enough to actually stand a chance on the feet. And she most definitely will not bully Holly Holmes in the clinch either. In my opinion, the Ronda Rousey era is over. As long as Holly is the champion, she will never get that belt back. And I have no doubt about that. But we'll see what happens. You know, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm glad she's fine. I'm glad she's okay. Uh, no concussion, nothing like that. She went to the hospital and got checked out and everything. She's fine. She Apparently, she's going to have plastic surgery on her lips or something like that. But apart from that, she just has a bruised ego, which is very understandable. But let me know your thoughts about the fight in the comments below. I'd love to see what your reaction was. Did you think Holly would beat Ronda? Come on, be honest with me. Be honest because I know a lot of you probably didn't think she could. And when she finally did... What did you think about that performance? Were you impressed? Was that exactly what you thought she would do? Let me know. Also, a massive congratulations to Holly. I mean, she deserves every bit of it. And I can't wait to see her defend that belt. But that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Support the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching.